My one of my favorite things, of course, is food. I love when we have wonderful restaurants on. Clinton Bertrand is here, and Brian O'Neill are here from Bistro Mirabelle. It's a restaurant that's been around for a long time, but it's all new up on Mesa Drive, right between Spicewood Springs. And um, they are coming in to cook a wonderful dish this morning called Graviche. I love it. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Good so tell us a little bit about what's new about the restaurant. Well, the restaurant uh, was open for about 12 years ago. Uh, 12 years, and. Um, we purchased it about three months ago. Yeah. Um, Clint came in, and what we did was take it from being kind of a southwestern eclectic menu right. to uh, strictly southern uh, southern France. Yeah. I love so lots that. of southern comfort food. Very uh, very easy food to eat, especially like weather like today. I know. Um, and it's been going really well. We serve um, we serve lunch, we serve dinner, uh, and brunch. We have brunch today. Excellent. And although some of this food lots of people are very heavy and filling we decided today to do something kind of light yeah which is what Clinton's cooking today which is salmon with this wonderful grabiche sauce so tell us what is grabiche and and how you pull this all together basically sauce grabiche is just a combination of um, an abundance of green herbs parsley and tarragon yeah um, along with chopped capers I love capers the right amount of salt <laughs> in the dish. Yeah, right. We got, we got more salt coming. We got some uh, anchovies, just a small amount huh. of anchovies. Um, shallots, yep. lemon zest. And we'll have this recipe up on our website at kxan.com, so make sure you check, check it in about a couple of hours or so. And here's the thing that gives it really a lot of body are uh, six hard boiled eggs. Yeah. Um, eggs and yolks separated and forced through a sieve, so oh, they're wow. actually. I had no idea those yeah, were eggs. Broken up, yeah. <laughs> and then basically just whisk everything together. It's yeah. also it's a breakfast dish as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can have it anytime. Well, you know, in the South, you can pretty much have anything for breakfast. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Throw those steak and eggs on the grill. Yeah. So yeah. just mix it all up like that. Whisk it together yeah. and um, check for salt, which usually needs a little. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Like it's a really that's really so simple easy. dish. That's so easy. Yeah. Um, and the egg yolks give it body. Um, and the uh, white gives it a little bit of texture. So. And then, so how do you combine it with the, with and, the uh, salmon? And I have a piece of grilled salmon, okay. and um, also um, a little salad of mixed greens. And basically, just on the plate with um, a little bit of oh, lemon oh. vinaigrette. Yeah. It looks really, really easy. Yeah, and some crispy potatoes. Oh, Ooh. let me have one of those. I haven't had breakfast yet. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, great. And then how long do you grill? The salmon doesn't take long to grill up. The salmon doesn't take too long. Yeah. Um, probably about four to five minutes. Okay. Really, really simple. Yeah. You can grill it, which, you know, which is the method that we use at the restaurant. Yeah. Um, I won't for a pan sear here, but um, basically just a just little bit of it up. the sauce. And that's a top. really gorgeous dish. It's really yeah, pretty. Yeah, really, it looks really, simple. really, really fresh. And I'm it's gonna, really light. It looks like it. I'm going to try some of this. Talk about some of the other items on the menu and how you guys um, were creative and pulled those together. Whose idea? Um, well, Brian uh, called me and said he wanted a French bistro. And uh -huh. um, I'd worked at, a, at one that's in San good. Francisco. Yeah. Um, and we just, you know, went with traditional. We wanted, we felt like uh, the neighborhood really needed, um, mm -hmm. needed an education to a degree about yeah. French food and just let them know that it's just, it's just what French grandmothers cook, you know what I mean, <laughs> at the table, it's out in the country, yeah. and it's just French comfort food. And um, I love that because it, it's the kind of food that pulls a family together. You that's know, right. good, hearty, home, good cooking like that, I love that. Well, one of the things we do is every night we do a traditional French plat de jour, which is, um, in these local restaurants in southern France. Yeah. Everybody knows that on this day you're going to have this. On Monday we do cazolet, which is a baked bean dish with duck and sausage and lardons. Uh, Tuesday we do lobster pot pie, and each day we do different dishes. So yeah. people know those things are, are going to be served every single day. Yeah. And then Saturday and Sunday brunch, we started last week, and that's, that's working out really well. Plus we're really lucky that Northwest Hills neighborhood, it's been around for so long. There's such good people who oh, live yeah. out there. And so people it's, can it's walk there, too. Absolutely. Yeah. happens every day. The Rhino Mesa, 8127 Mesa Drive is the location. It's right in a shopping center, um, if you're familiar with the area. I went there years ago when it, it's not what it is now. <laughs> so I'll have to go and try it now. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you so much yeah, for having us. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to eat some more of that.